Well, this is where we're at right now. Got the rims off the truck. <clears throat> well, the front ones, anyways. Got the oil coming up. Sandpaper for the rims, paint, tape. Lift it up. Um. So, yeah. Well, I am currently right now debating on painting this, this spokes right here. Just painting those black and leaving the little inserts here. Chrome or just painting those chrome and leaving this. Or painting those black and leaving this. Like it's sparkly silver or whatever. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <coughs> well, I just got... The insides right here done. The sanding. Um, I think I'm going to cover these and paint this part for now and see how that looks. And if I don't like it, I'm just going to paint the whole rim black. I might leave the outside rim silver. Maybe. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um... I think I'm gonna get my oil done here. Started anyways. Let it drain while I'm painting. I made a mess. Stupid drain plug. <coughs> well, it's a day later after I had painted my rooms, finished painting my rooms, and. I had my girlfriend tape in these letters so that I could leave them red while painting the center cap black. And obviously, it wasn't the easiest thing to do. I won't lie, but I don't, I don't, I don't mind a little bit of silver that's in there. <clears throat> I think it looks pretty good, satisfying. I'm satisfied with the results out of it. <clears throat> Obviously, with it being fresh paint, it's going to stick out a little bit right now. But, after a little while, it'll <clears throat> blend in a little more. It looks all that bad. Excuse me. I had also painted the front up here a little bit. Just this. Just this. That's all. I didn't get none of this. <clears throat> Got tow hooks. <clears throat> Got the oil chains though. A little late on the oil chains. I am um, 139,000 miles. And my last oil change was, I believe, at 136. Or 130, 135. It was at 135. And I went over 1,000 miles, I think. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so, the next thing that is in line for the truck is, well, I'm really starting to look at the LEDs a little more. The LED um, light bar for the top of it. 
I have a choice to either go with a 52 inch, uh, 300 watt, or a 50 inch, 288 watt, one of the two, and I am unsure which one, but that I believe is likely going to be the next big upgrade to this vehicle. I got some headlights, the headlights that I told everybody about last time in line. Um, these tires, back tires are going Friday, tomorrow. Gonna have better ones on there, I showed you guys already. Um, I think that's all for now. Sorry for the shaky camera, kinda cold. After a little while, what I plan to do after I get some some new uh, fender flares or whatever people call these things, that's what I know what they're called anyways. After I get some new ones, I think I'm going to paint them black with some bed liner. I've seen somebody do it on YouTube, somebody else do it, and it looked pretty good, so I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it, and I'm going to... Take this stuff off here. This is just some cheap little, cheap little chrome. It was chrome anyways. But I'm gonna paint this black. Paint this all black right here. All along. Paint that black. Paint that all black. <clears throat> get the roll pan for this. Paint the roll pan. We'll get a black roll pan and paint that all black to match. <clears throat> and well I'm getting a different hood I'm gonna get a coal hood a red coal hood that'll match the truck paint that over red I'll get a red that matches <coughs> um I'm getting a mirror soon I know that for sure go to the junkyard soon get a mirror um so yeah that's all for today that's the update for today. Um, like and subscribe. The videos I posted, or the pictures that were at the beginning, are the are pretty much basically showing you how the LEDs look on the truck. Later on tonight, when it gets dark out, I will do a video or a take a couple pictures. On how they light up the ground or the range and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe.